Hello and welcome to a video about the upcoming events on my channel. I figured I'd just give a bit of a sneak peek of what we're going to see over the course of the next couple of weeks and the projects that I'm working on. Uh, slide behind the um, scene trailer, so to speak, which gives you the opportunity to leave your opinion on the upcoming series and maybe even suggest a game that I do not have on my radar yet. I do have four goodies for you. Uh, that I am going to introduce you. XCOM fans won't be disappointed, but also fans of different games will um, hopefully like the content. Number one, catering to the XCOM 2 community. If you have been living under a stone so far, you probably haven't heard it, but 9th of October is going to be the release date of the Tactical Legacy Pack, which Believe it or not, I am going to play. The Tactical Legacy play, uh, Pack contains uh, missions that are uh, timed in between uh, XCOM 1, uh, Enemy Unknown, and XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Um, it will kind of span the, uh, the, the uh, time in between and tell the story of what happened. There will be a new, most difficult uh, game mode, which is called Nightmare. It's kind of the legendary equivalent of these missions. So I'm definitely going to do a Nightmare um, Iron Man run to see what the uh, what kind of content uh, it has to offer. And I think there's also a skirmish mode. Uh, let's see, skirmish mode will offer the, uh, the community to create, um, yeah, custom tailored or user tailored maps and it will give me the opportunity to to play hardcore maps from time to time i'll just scan what's available and use the most difficult ones uh, for your entertainment moving on even further with xcom 2 there is a second series that i wanted to highlight which i will call how to recover from a fail um, i get incredibly annoyed reading many articles about why XCOM is too difficult and why it's almost impossible to recover from a fail and why it's so snowbally and once you're behind the curve that you can, uh, cannot keep up and so on and so forth. Um, I'm personally of a different opinion and I'd like to prove that so I'm currently looking uh, in various forums for safe games of hopefully legendary Iron Man uh, safe games but maybe we can find something uh, something else. It doesn't really matter. Safe games of people uh, that have abandoned, of users that have abandoned their campaigns and decided to uh, call it a failed run. And the idea of the series is not to uh, run a full run, but rather just to, to make a successful recovery. And I think uh, during the process of doing so, it could be incredibly valuable as a learning e experience of what can you personally do when your campaign uh, goes uh, into the wrong direction, when you start failing these missions, uh, like when's the point to maybe cut your losses and do something different. So I hope that's an inspiration and also a help for those of you who struggle in the campaigns. It doesn't need to be a legendary one. All of the things that I'm going to do can be applied in actually probably any campaign setting. And um, I don't know how long I will play uh, that, but probably long enough to uh, to stabilize the campaign and call it uh, victory. Then some non-XCOM content. The enhanced edition of Divinity Original Sins 2 has been released, which includes a ma majority of balance changes some substantial uh, changes in the skills, the character classes have been re-evaluated, some minor content had be has been added, and the game is more pristine than ever. So I definitely want to give it a try, specifically since my honor run uh, plus with double enemy uh, numbers is of such a, um, of such a low uh, graphical quality. I will now tweak the graphics and will do a new, more tutorial-based run to help those uh, that haven't had ch uh, the chance to play on higher difficulties in Divinity Original Sins 2 to really run through it uh, flawlessly. I haven't decided on the characters yet, so if you feel strongly about a build that you'd like to see uh, me try out, please leave a comment and tell me what build you want to see. Applications officially opened, and that brings us to our last game, which is called Phantom Doctrine. It had been recommended by user 
and I want to give it a try. This is an XCOM based game which is probably more catered around the stealth factor. I don't know if I'm terribly excited about that but uh, it seemed to have equipment, it seemed to have skills on your characters and it seemed to have tactical combat which um, all in all already got me excited. So maybe you will see a Phantom Doctrine run with less stealth and more combat. I don't know yet, I don't uh, know the game, I've never played it but that already sounds like uh, a great idea to play the game in a, a little bit different way. So that's it for the uh, games that I had on my radar. If I do have some spare time, there is pr probably a slot for another game until the end of the year. And I'm taking humble suggestions for uh, for current uh, currently released games, so something that you really like to see. Um, I was thinking about, if I'm not getting any better suggestion than that, I was thinking about a Shadowrun uh, uh, playthrough because they had an enhanced version as well, which I really like. Um, not sure which version of Shadowrun, but definitely one with tactical combat in it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have ideas, suggestions, comments and thoughts about the games that you've seen, please leave your comment down below. I'd like to get in contact with you. Thanks and have a great day.